Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I'm really excited with what I've got to share with you. So, a lot of you will know I collaborate with Craft Stash and they very kindly asked if I'd like to choose some more product. So I was slightly overwhelmed by what I've received or what I chose and, and actually received today. So this came in the post maybe about an hour ago. So I thought, right, I've got to get this recorded. So I'm going to go through it bit by bit. So first of all, I've been after a really nice tag punch. Now I know there are, are quite a few out there, but this one here is by Hunky Dory and it's a big one but the good thing about this is is you can you can tag you can punch three different sizes of tags so what i mean by that is i've already on and cut the pieces here so it tells you on the top here you can have a two and a half inch wide a two inch wide and a one and a half now the length is entirely up to you which is another nice thing about it and i've seen lots of people making like little mini books little mini albums with these lovely tags and obviously you can use them in the traditional way as a nice gift tag on a gift box or gift bag so I've gone and cut here a piece of cardstock with the width of two and a half and you basically just slide it in and then, oh, I better put this down so it's easier for me to, and you'll feel it and look at that and you get a nice little embossed ring, love this detail and obviously like I said you can have that as long as you want. Now you can use these to make little mini albums so you can use that now to put your, say your ring binder through and you can have little photos on these. Yeah, it's just endless, so you are gonna see this feature a lot. Then this is the two inch size, so it goes in the next one. And there you have it. It's a slightly different pattern there, because obviously it's dropping down in size. And then this one here is your one and a half, which goes right in the bottom. This is the white card stock, so just slide that one in. And you can see how that one looks there. So if I just layer them over the top, you'll see the white one really well. You can just see the difference in the sizes there. And there's that one. How cool is that? I love that you get the three sizes all in that one punch. It's just gonna make, it's just so much easier, I think, just to use this rather than get my, um, my dies out. So I'm really pleased that I've got this one. It's a nice size, nice weight to it, and it feels really, really good. So that's the Premier Craft Tools Fancy Egg Edge, <laughs> fancy edge tag punch designed with precision and it just tells you exactly what to do on the back there as well but I just like that you can have them obviously any length that you want but yeah so that's that one so super please again that will be linked below for you then I've got these here so these are the Spectra Noir Harmony ink pads so these are the water reactive dye ink pads I've got the ocean blue crushed velvet orange and then I also have the this is the set of three, so this is Pretty Pink, ro oh, pr sorry, it's called Pretty Pinks, and you get Pink Tulip, Fuchsia, and Plum Jam. Just love these kind of colours. So again, they're they kind of work in the same way as a Distressed Oxide, but I like that you have these colour combos here. So if you're doing any kind of layer stamping, or you want to get a really nice kind of ombre with the same kind of colour tones, these are great because it's kind of already done for you, and you know you've got your light, your medium, and your dark. So yeah, they're definitely going to be used with my layer stamping and some nice backgrounds. Also, what I like about these is they're really deep, so they stack really nicely. So again, don't take up a lot of workspace and you can stack them quite high. And also, if you take your lids off, they've marked on the back here, H is for Harmony, because they do have another style in that in their kind of range or collection. So that's the H there, but you have it on both sides. So again, if you are limited on space, you can see that one's fallen down a bit there, but when they're all stacked, you can see all your colours, you can have them all stacked along like that. So take those ones out there. These are all sealed as well. You can buy these separately or in packs of three. And there you can see them all really nicely stacked together. So I'm really pleased with them. They're a lot more compact than other ones that I have. And yeah, I prefer this. And I think they might even fit in my little Ikea trays that I've got. So that's going to be even better. But I've got one, two, three, four, five, six there. And they don't take up much room. So again, really pleased about these ones so far. I will let you know in terms of their inking. But then I saw these here. So this is the Lakeside Blooms by The Paper Tree. It's another beautiful um, kind of paper pad of images just love the illustrations but I did go for the essential paper pad to go with it so here are all your backgrounds kind of like your mats I would say so you've just got nice polka dots stripes really nice colors which match perfectly with the lakeside blooms so again they just repeat you always get so many 48 sheets it's 8 by 8 pad 160 gsm so it's perfect for using for envelopes for gift boxes gift bags and for card makings so it covers all of them single-sided but that's fine because you get so many sheets 
and it's made in the UK and that's good as well you can use that one all on the back there so this is the paper pad and I'll just show you again you've got that lovely piece you can use on the back there if I just flick through look at these you've got your borders there look at that rabbit or hair so cute and again there I just love these so you know I'm really enjoying using the paper tree papers love that one there with the swans you have a lovely stamped image in the middle there or you can cut it in half and have that on the side of your card you've got the lovely flowers that real nice kind of watercolor background and then it repeats again so yeah really pleased with those ones I think they're absolutely stunning and I know I think some of you one of you ladies on the group Facebook group you shared this one as well so yeah super excited to play with that one then I picked up these dies here so I'd seen these before and I just thought they were really cute what the the kind of inspiration was for them so this is the cake shop and this is new home now the cake shop I do have a cake die I never use it I'll probably end up getting rid of that one I'll give it to charity but this one here you can it's tears that you can layer up so you can create it any kind of well you can go obviously higher in size but it's just a lovely I just like the idea of it it says here sweet wishes so that's a really nice sentiment just to use on anything anyway you've got the candles and then these are your kind of icing to go over the top so I will be using that I've got like a pop-up card idea for this one so I think that's going to work really nicely and then this here is the little house again you've got all your different rooftop sizes and then all these elements here you've got your window and this says here new home but again I've got ideas to be using this for Christmas so I need these little kind of pieces like that little window and yeah so again I've got lots of ideas for these things so I'm just kind of preparing building stuff up but I will show you some cards with this one again because I think it's going to look super cute as a nice little pop-up card so those two there again craft work cards I will link all of this below then I, I did say that I'm I'm desperate for a new pokey tool so this is my old Tim Holtz one so this is the old colour um, but I've the end I caught it I think last year it's quite a few months back now and it does kind of still work but I don't know if you notice in my videos I'm really kind of picking like the corners so I have yeah needed a new one so this is the new packaging this is the black and it's just so nice to have a super sharp poke tool and the reason I love these ones over all the other ones is because you can retract it back so it's nice and concealed and it's safe so if you are traveling you take your craft tools to craft classes and things like that I just feel this is much safer and I have also linked ribbon around this and had it hanging like in my little craft bag and stuff so just they're just nice and compact I feel it's much safer as well so I will keep this one but yeah it's just it's not even really sharp anymore at all and it's just I'm constantly kind of like really trying to almost scratch my paper so this now I'll just be able to hook it up nicely so yeah again I will share all of this below for you and then I needed some more snips I say more snips because I do kind of chop and change because when you, I think, do as much fussy cutting as I do, because I do really enjoy it, there are still different snips that I find for different kind of things. So these are the current ones that I've got. So this is the X-Cut and the Tonic. The thing that, well, the only negative I have with the Tonic is it's perforated, and it does show that perforation sometimes, and it does frustrate me. However, I do still use it for things where that kind of gets covered, so it doesn't, yeah, I'd use it for the things that maybe aren't, a topper on a card something that you're going to see but I still need some precision with my cutting then these are great do need to sharpen them go on for the carbon steel ones here which is the crafters companion so let me just and then I've got these here these aren't precision ones these are just like really heavy duty little snips that I just use for things like this so just take off this so these here, they feel very similar, but it's not until you get a new pair that you realise your older ones don't feel. But these, I mean, that's a thick card. I wouldn't use that anyway. But um, yeah, they feel they feel quite nice. So again, until I start using them. So yeah, that's them. And then let me have a look at these ones because yeah, they don't have the perforation, and they've got their little protect. Yeah, they're so much. I think they're going to be so much nicer high quality high durability titanium coated blade yeah they feel lovely fine control crafter snips includes protective cap for safe transport and storage let's have a little look okay i've got this piece here now i actually do need to cut this so i'm just going to very quickly just try this one here 
yeah they feel really nice and when you snip right to the end it doesn't break the paper so then you can just carry on I'll just quickly finish it off there for the video I'll carry on with that but they feel really nice now if I use these ones I'll use it down this here you might not be able to see it in this but yeah you won't pick it up on camera but they leave a perforation there's a little perforation mark all the way along that and it's just frustrating so but those might be my new go-to along with these as well I need to see let's have a little look here yeah they both cut nicely I think it's just going to be down to personal preference preference to be honest these are lovely though really do like these I think it does make a big difference that you've got the titanium blade here so yeah really like them so they're going to be the ones you're going to see a lot so like I said I need to get these cleaned up so yeah so I've got some there to play around with now so I will chop and change because but you do get a comfort for your scissors again for those anybody new watching or people that aren't even into paper craft thinking what's she talking about it's true and I know a lot of you will agree there is just something about them and you do mold your scissors so if you start cutting them one way then that's the way you should be always cutting them so you shouldn't then chop and change and flip them over I know which way my scissors are and the way that I use them so but yeah I'm gonna have a bit of a scissor clean up later on I think and get these all sorted out okay so next I've got this glue gun so <laughs> those of you that follow me will see this one and it, I hate it, it is the cheapest one out there but I did have a really nice blue one and it has just got lost, literally has just disappeared so again when they kindly said if there's, if there's any tools that I'd like to you know use and try yes definitely this one, I've seen the reviews, Re reviews are really good for it but the thing I like is that you get this stand so my glue gun I have to hang up which I don't like to be honest so let me just take all this out of the packaging so I haven't unpacked anything yet okay so I've taken everything out and firstly they give you an adapter which is brilliant so if you are outside of the UK or you need a, somewhere where you use a two pin they do send you the adapter which I think is really good so that's perfect for me for my holidays so I'll be keeping hold of that one and then let me just undo all this okay so one of the main reasons I got this is because it has the on off switch this doesn't now I come into my craft room and the first thing I do is I turn on all my plugs and if I've left this plugged in I have and I it scares me but it's gone on and I've obviously not realized and then I've gone to pick something up and I've caught myself on this and burnt myself and then realized it's on this gives you no indication that's not a light by the way that's a gem that's stuck to it so yeah for that reason I won't be using this anymore I mean I'll keep it as a backup but it does panic me whereas this one here has that on off so I can plug everything and have all my my kind of switches on but know that that's off and then when I need it I just need to flick it on it feels really nice again it's not until you get something that's much nicer it takes your normal standard blue sticks so there's that one all in there now and it has got a much thinner nozzle than what I'm used to now you do have this here so you don't have to buy this you can get it as a bundle but you can buy them separate but the thing is you find that because these wires are so thick even with its stand that's going to have to really soften up for that to stand on its own so that's why I've gone for this so you get this rubber plate here which the glue anything that does drip will just peel straight off and then you have oh, clip that back in this little kind of it's almost like a deck chair style so you can just kind of adjust it to whatever height you want like so and then that should go in like so again obviously I'm gonna have to play around with that piece that all goes behind my desk so I think once it kind of softens up a bit but it's in there you can see much nicer in fact I don't need that that's what's stopping it I need to put that in there we go much better so once this is kind of in place you can see how it sits it looks so much better and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put velcro strips on the back here and have it actually stuck just off to the left here just off camera and it will stay there as a permanent fixture so it's again once it goes on in the mornings when I come in to start my day yeah that's all going to be ready to go so I love this it feels really nice let me just put it on okay so you see a light there that's just come on on the back which is great as well so it's just another good indication to know that it is on I'm just going to see how long this takes to warm up okay so it's literally been a couple of minutes it's really really quick and I could feel I put my finger on it and that was really really hot so this one here takes ages <laughs> good like five even longer minutes to heat this is instant so now 
you can see, yeah, it's actually nice, it's clean, that it comes straight off. So I always kind of wipe it off at the ends. And you can see there, there's nothing, I'm not touching the nozzle or anything, and nothing seems to be, I mean, I imagine if that's left on for a long time, I can't imagine, you know, you can only expect the glue to kind of end up falling out, but there may be a little kind of trigger inside that maybe cuts it off. So, yeah, I really like it. This is the new one anyway, you're gonna see this used now all the time, so it has got a lot more pre precision than my other one. So, and it feels so much easier to actually use like that. On this one, I have to really push that down, whereas this one here is just effortless. So again, if you do have any dexterity issues, I mean, I know there's others out there, but this is the one that I chose and I'm really pleased with it. So yeah, I'm happy with that one, guys. I'd like to know if anybody else has it. I like now that I can just turn that off and that light goes off. So um, yeah, but it's still plugged in, so it just makes it a bit easier, but I need to get rid of all this now and clean it all up. But yeah, I like it. Okay, then I went and got some Daisy May um, stamps and dies. Now I really like her collection and I've got all of them apart from this one and there's one more which is the basket with the daffodils in it, I think. But I really liked this one. So it's this little bird box. You've got the little, it's blue tit friend stamps and that's the blue tit friend die set. And the thing that I really like about this one is you get this lovely picket fence stamp and die but it's a really nice size so if you just die cut quite a few of those you'll have a really nice picket fence so I love that idea and then you've got this lovely little kind of I guess it's a it's like a wooden piece of old wood and then you've got the hello friend to go in there but that would fit a lot of my other stamps as well and then you've got that lovely little wooden bird box but how cute is he going to look outside so yeah I just I love Claire Rowland, she's the illustrator and designer of these and she's such a lovely lady. I just really, really like her, her ideas. So got that one. And then this was her die set, the circular die set. And she's done a beautiful circle easel card, which I enjoy making. But she's got one using this and you just get that beautiful, lovely kind of, it's not scalloped, it's kind of, it's like a really uneven scallop kind of print. But it also, I like that you have all this stitching, really sporadic, it's not like perfect, it's just all over the place. And it's really, I just love it. Like I said, I just saw the cards that she'd made and I thought I really like them, I love this effect. And you see me all the time, I'm always using my circle, squares, ovals, all those kind of dies. So, yep, they are definitely gonna get used, but beautiful. Do go check out Daisy May Designs because she does, if you like sweet and cute things, then she's got some lovely things. Okay, next was the Card Making Magic Collection. This is by Christina Griffiths and I love this. So I have seen these a while ago. I saw her actually demo these. Um, and I'll talk you through the dice first, then I'll talk you through the stamps. So these are huge. These are the 20, no, sorry, yeah, A5 rectangular and A5 oval. You get 14 in this one, you get 13 in this one. Now the reason I love these is they've got the double stitch. So they've got the stitching on the piece that you would die cut away from your cardstock and then they leave a stitched kind of impression on that, well, what some people would have as their kind of waist. And it's perfect for when you're making any kind of like shaker cards, any kind of cards with a window and aperture these are great and they're also great for doing mats and layers as well so I'll show you just how big these are I couldn't quite believe it you see you look at the measurements but it's not until you actually have them look at that so this is how it looks so that and the reason I love these ones is I've got oval dies but they are not this I guess stretched like flat they almost look like they're squashed I've got almost more rounder ones than oval. And the reason I like these, I die cut the two smaller ones and you can see there, how nice is that topper? So I've got lots of ones that I can do this with circles but I haven't got anything I can do that that small with an oval. So again, you're gonna see that a lot on cards and gift boxes and tags. But the thing that's great about it is this is the, what we would call the waist. But can you see the lovely stitched detail? So if you were to die cut lots of them and have them layered over like this, you can create really fun cards with all of those different layers. So when it's die cut, that is what it does. So it leaves your stitch inside here and outside. I think that's great. Really, really like that kind of detail on these. And the fact you get so many, the largest one, I think it's actually even longer than my ruler. Yeah, it is. So this is, it's looking like eight and three quarters. So imagine that as a card, lovely big card shape. 
that's going to look so nice. So yeah, they almost do fit on my magnetic strip just because <laughs> it's over. I can get away with it. But you can see there how lovely are these. So that's your packaging. That's how they come. They don't come with the magnetic um, sheet. That is my own. They just come in plastic. But um, yeah, really, they're like your bread and butter. And that's the, the ovals. And this one, my largest one doesn't fit on my sheet. So I'm going to have to get a bigger one. But you can see there's the largest and that's all of them there. I just love how tight they are together because I've got a lot of nest dies and they're all, they almost like miss one. So you imagine they're like, they're like that. And it's too big a gap and I always have to kind of mix them with other kind of rectangles that I've got. Whereas with this one now, you've just got so many that are gonna work brilliantly together. And this one, exactly the same, and you can see there. You get that lovely detail and then there as well so love it i think they're really really good so again always as always everything will be linked below okay and then i picked these here so i've got this one i love sentiments in cards and i've got a few but these ones just stood out they've just got some really nice sayings and they're large so they're some of the ones i've got can be a bit smaller but these ones are just nice and big so they're perfect for inside your cards this one just says happy birthday to you on this special day may the warmest of wishes all come your way um wherever i am whatever i do i'm truly happy when i'm with you this, this one I love, this crafted card, handmade with love, created just for you, is sent to wish you happiness in everything you do. There's nothing like a baby so lovable and sweet to make a family happy and to make the home complete. I'm not going to read the rest out, you can see them all online, but I just thought they were really nice. You can never have too many of these things, and because I kind of, I go through a phase where I'll just use maybe these ones, and then it's nice to put them away and bring out another one, so I always chop and change, and these things never date. These are stamps that I will always, always keep. So they're investment stamps, which is always good. And then I've got this one, which I love. So you've got the Happy Mail one, which is great to just be stamped on the back of like your envelopes. This one I think is brilliant, which I'm gonna put on some of mine, open immediately to release happiness. Warning contains pretty things. A little something made with lots of love. You've got mail. Special delivery just for you. Snail mail is the best way to send a little love. They're made with love, lovingly crafted just for you. I have got that one. I think that one was a freebie on, or something similar was a freebie on a magazine. Love that kind of just that strip. And then this is always good as well because it's got the bird. You've got the arrow with the mail or the, you know, the paper plane. Really nice little pen and pencil. And then you've got your envelope there as well. So I love that one. And it's just called Happy Mail. And that one's called Large Sentiments. And then I've got this one here, which was just another, I don't know what the name of these are. It just says a two piece die set, but they're very, let's say, fashionable at the moment. It's what a lot of companies are doing. And it's these where you have the background cut so you don't have to fussy cut that kind of sentiment. It's already done for you. And then that sits over the top. Let me just cut this and show you. Okay, so I've just die-cut both of them. So that's your background. Worst colours that I've chose, but it's just the scraps that I had. So that's this one here. And then when you die-cut the actual sentiment, you get this lovely here, birthday wishes. And then that will stick over the top. And they just look really nice. And then you can just pop some foam adhesive on the back and you've got a really nice topper there for your cards. Love the font, I think that's really pretty. So yeah, I'm happy with that one, glad I got it. And then I got the adorable scoreboard by Hunky Dory. Now, I have had a few scoreboards. The current one I'm using is the stamping up one, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a bit irritated with it now because I feel that I keep kind of coming off the track when I use this one. You will notice that I use this one a lot and that has become a habit and I, I wanna stop using it because it is kind of blunting the end. Not that it matters because this is my bone folder, but it is my special baby. So I don't really wanna be doing that for this. Um, yeah, let me just show you. So this is the stamping up scoreboard and it's, it's brilliant. Like it does what it's supposed to do, but I do f feel that I, I don't know, I just seem to, sometimes I hop over a track and it can be quite frustrating. I've done it in tutorials, so you would have seen me do it. But also the thing that I'm kind of getting frustrated with, with this one is I lose feet constantly. This one, I've had to glue them. That's glue in there that I've put in. And this one here, it is so bulky that you can see it's got this kind of overhangs and there is, it's very, very thick. Um, and 
it's not until you use things for a long time and then when something else comes on the market or you see something else and you kind of think, I think that's going to suit me better. And that's this one here. So the reason I love this so much is for three reasons. So let me just take it out of the packaging. Okay, so one of the reasons I liked it is the handle. So I can hold this, obviously, when I just want to move it around, but also I can hang it, which is what I plan to do. But it is that thin, if I pop it on its side, there we go, that you can just slide this down the side of your desk or any of your furniture in your craft room. Or if you don't have a craft room, you're limited on space, this will sit perfectly down behind the sofa or anywhere. You see what I kind of mean, you know, maybe you use a, a kitchen cupboard to put some of your stuff. It's just, I think, really good. Now, the other thing I love about this is that you have inches on one side and you have centimetres on the other. So, you know, if you do watch my tutorials and you prefer working in centimetres, if you've got this scoreboard, you can just flip it over and follow the measurements that I give you. It's, it's great for that and vice versa. If I need to work in centimetres, I can just flip this over during a tutorial and tell you what it would be in centimetres. So I really, really love that. And then you get your tool. So it's easy, you've got a little kind of well here, so it's really easy to kind of pick that out. But the great thing is, like so, I mean, that's really not gonna go anywhere. Because the other, you, know, you can hear it snap in there. That other one, it just falls out all the time. So this looks really good. Now it's nice, it is quite sharp. So I'm hoping it wouldn't cut your cardstock. Let's try. Let's score this here. So let's do a few. So let's score at one, two, three, four, five, and six. It's got a much tighter score line at the minute. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. If I go over here. The nice thing is that it has the track. It, it starts like before you actually go onto the line. So you get, if you look on here, you get a score line right from the very top of your cardstock. Whereas on the other one, my score line doesn't go right from the very top. It starts just maybe like a millimeter or so just from it because that barbarian doesn't get right into the top of the card. It makes a difference, definitely. It's not until you use it, you can see it. But now do a nice concertina fold with this one. There we go, I've got no cracking. Yeah, I like it. So yeah, that is the adorable scoreboard and I do adore it. I think it's really nice. Okay, so that was everything that I was very kindly sent by Craft Stash. Then I've also purchased, I popped into the works and I um, picked up these wooden counters and these here, I had a look at them earlier, are wooden beads, pound each. Now the reason I've got these is, for example, if you have your ribbon through your gift bag handle, how nice would that be at the top to actually hold, put your hands around? Or these could be at the bottom of your ribbon, so your ribbon comes up around here and these are at the bottom, so just above maybe the cardstock. I think they're going to look really cool, but you can also use them for feet as well on gift boxes and things like that. So yeah, you get, how many do you get there? It just says 50 grams, so there's quite a few for a pound. And also I'm kind of building up for my Christmas tutorial, so I'm kind of, you know, getting the ideas in my head anyway, because before you know it, it's going to be here. <laughs> and then these, like I said, are wooden counters, so I guess the idea is to use them for games. But I like them for, again, using as feet. So I've got the smaller ones, but if you turn them upside down, they make perfect feet. But you can also have them as little people and also as counters. So yeah, so I've got those ones there. You only get six, is it? Yeah, but I've got two packs of those. And you can colour these, so these will, I imagine, take quite well to the alcohol markers. But also if you put a load of embossing powder on them, you can cover them in glitter and things like that. So yeah, I got those. And then I picked up this paper pad. So it's the three pound ones, 12 by 12, 230 GSM, double-sided. The double-sided, sometimes they get it right, sometimes they don't. They've kind of gone a bit, it's a bit annoying really, because like these are okay, love them. That was one of the reasons I brought it, because I love that watercolour kind of polka dot. But then you've got these ones, not that one, that one's okay, that's okay. I mean, as in what they've used, they're all beautiful. I love all the images, this one here. So look, you've got a really nice pattern there and there. But why they've done them on the same paper, it would have been better having like that on the back of this one. So at least then, if you had a gift bag and you fold over the top, you would have that showing rather than this. They clash, you couldn't use those two together. Plus, 
whenever you have like a more plainer colour, it's easier to cut into and you don't have to decide what one you want to use. So yeah, that's that one is frustrating me a little bit. I've had others from them and they've been brilliant. Like every one they've kind of nailed, like that one there. They got that nice print, but then it's got that print on the other side. So still love it. And because it's only three pound, I'm not going to moan and you know too much. That I love. That reminds me of quite a famous designer. So yeah, drawn to that one. They got these here, like the bubbles. That's really good. If you had like a bath scene or something, and then they just repeat again. So yeah, love it. Love all the images, but I just wish they would um, think about what ones they put together. But that is called Summer Dreams. So that was everything from the works and then I think it was beginning of last week or the week before I was at Trimcraft head office and Claire very kindly gave me this permafix tape it's brilliant it's one inch thick 24 mil you get five meters so it's you know it's your red tape but the thing with this is I've noticed a big difference this is so sticky like so sticky I can not believe it you only need a little amount I mean yeah this isn't something I would really use for mats and layers it's going to be great for adding strength to more 3d projects and gift bags and things like that but when you compare it to my other ones which are great still like these but yeah I don't know where this one's come from because it is super super sticky so this is the dot and dab range they do do other widths as well so you don't just have to have the one inch but I love that and I love that it is so thick so yeah again I will link that below because I think it is now available in the stores then my mum picked me up this one here I can't remember where she said she got it from I'll put a little pop-up here but I really like it and she the idea she had was to use it as a handle on gift bags so if I just open this one up But for really fancy gift bags, how nice will that be as a handle? So yeah, you get uh, five meters. And I know it was only cheap, I think a pound she paid. So again, I will link up there where it came from. And then finally, I sent a letter to Tunnock Tea Cakes or Tunnocks. And they really kindly, they just, they sent me a lovely letter and just said, or reply and said, you know, we really like what you've made because I shared with them all my Tunnix tea cake tutorials. And um, they asked for my address and they sent me this and it is a Tunnix tea cake oven glove or oven mitt. But I love it. <laughs> I was so excited when it came through the door. Look, look at this. It's so nicely made, it really is lovely quality. And on here they just put, so it says Thomas Tunnock Limited, chocolate biscuit manufacturer with compliments, regards Anne. So thank you Anne, that will be cherished and put in my kitchen. So yeah, I absolutely love it. So here is everything I got this week. Again, a huge thank you to Craft Stash. Thank you so much for allowing me to choose this product. It's a product that I genuinely love and have had an interest in. So I'm really looking forward to using it and sharing the tutorials with you all. Love my Tunnix tea cake glove. That's like a bit special because I just, yeah, love it. And can't wait to use my scoreboard. Really, really looking forward to that one as well. And yeah, just all of it. I just, you know how much this is my passion. So yeah, hope you like it. All the links will be shared below. Ask any questions. Give me any kind of, you know, comment on anything here that you may already have what you think of it i'm always interested to know what other people's thoughts are and yeah thank you for watching i'll be back tomorrow with my normal friday tutorial until then have a great day and i'll see you all again soon bye